Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. Well, I'm here today again to talk about wisdom from the little book of James. And today I want to read a couple of verses in this first chapter, beginning with verse 19. And here's what it says. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters. Okay, here, here it is. Here's what you're supposed to understand. You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. Okay, let's say, let's, let's, just, let's just say it. We've all gotten angry. <clears throat> if you've never gotten angry about anything in your life, something's wrong. It's not getting the anger that's the problem. It's what you do with it. And so many times, people are quick to become angry. I've heard it said many times, well, I have my father's temper. No, you don't. You have your own. <laughs> your father had his and you have yours. But you don't have to have it. You can live a life that does something different. It says here, understand this. Now, you know, we could say, pay attention, will ya? Just listen. And here's what you're supposed to listen to. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. Now, I don't know, but I've had many conversations with someone who, who has what they want to say before I've ever finished. In fact, in the last little while, there were the, the hearings for the Supreme Court justice, and I watched bits and pieces of it, not very much. It's not my thing. But what I noticed is there were a lot of senators who really didn't want to hear an answer. They just wanted to ask questions. They just wanted to talk and accuse. And, and they didn't they didn't listen for an answer. In fact, a couple of them got taken to task because they wouldn't even let the lady speak or at least finish what she was saying. And a lot of people do that in their lives. They go to talk with someone and they're not interested in what the other person's saying. They only listen in order to figure out how I can stick in what I already wanted to say in the first place. But that's not what this passage is saying. It says, you must be quick to listen. Listen is to pay close attention, to hear what the person's saying, the words, the emotion, the feelings, the context. Listen to that. Counselors try to do it, and some of them are really, really good, but all of us should do that, particularly when we're talking to people about their lives. You know, it's easy to talk about yourself for most of us, but it's not easy to listen to someone else, to hear what they're really saying. And so it says to be quick to listen and then slow to speak. Think about what you're going to say before you say it. You know, once the words come out, you can't put them back in. And if they come out in anger, they wound people. I know I've been on the reciprocating end of this. Sometimes those wounds last a long, long time. And sometimes for people, they last a lifetime. They cannot get over the wounding, the hurting that was caused by somebody who spoke in anger before they listened. So he says here to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. And he says, Human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. 
Now, there is a thing called righteous anger. And you'll see that over the centuries. Righteous anger was anger at slavery. It was anger at injustice. Jesus had righteous anger against the scribes and Pharisees who wanted to make more and more and more burdens of the law on people. He certainly had things to say about uh, the sick and the needy. And, and Micah's famous anger was against those who didn't do justice. But that's not the anger that this is talking about. This anger is talking about the anger that just blasts out and throws out and wants very much to be big and important or look so. A lot of bullies are like that. And you know what they are? Bullies. Just bullies. That's not God's righteousness. That's not what God wants you to be. God wants you to be something else. He wants you to represent him. Now, how do you know if you're not doing it right? Well, next time you get in one of these conversations, stop. You don't have to verbalize it. Just say it to yourself. Am I really reflecting God's presence right now? And if the answer is no, well, change. You have the ability to change yourself. Nobody else does. You have the ability to stop and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm wrong. Let me re-say this. God wants you and me to reflect him wherever we go and whatever we do. And this passage in James has given us a pathway, if you will, of how to do that. Quick to listen. Listen really carefully. Ask questions if you don't think you have it straight. Slow to speak. Hmm. Let me think about this a second. Okay, now, yeah, here's what I'd like to say. And very, very, very slow to get angry. Nothing good comes from this kind of anger, ever. So I hope you'll think about that today. I know most of you aren't an angry people. If you were, you probably wouldn't be listening to me. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that we don't mess up. And it doesn't mean that we're always doing it the right way. If you want God's righteousness that God wants for you, then these words in James will go a long way. Well, thanks for listening. If you have a concern or a need, let us know. We'll do whatever we can, as fast as we can, to help meet your need. Take care. God bless you. I'll talk to you again.